the Mission Roman Beneke Darts review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. We got a great video planned for you today. Finally getting around to reviewing these things. They've been sitting on my desk now. I have a whole pile of darts up here. But yeah, they've been sitting on my desk for a couple months now. I bought them back in early February of this year. Picked them up at, you see there, Darts Corner. Um, I'll have a link down below in the pinned comment. You can check them out. They come in 22 grams only, just a hair north of 60 US dollars. Again, link down below in the pinned comment. We'll take you over to Darts Corner. And you can check them out. And while you're over there, make sure you check out their clearance section. They have some amazing deals. So make sure you check that out as well. I'll throw that link down below in the pinned comment. So um, yeah, great set of darts here. Great set of red coated darts, which you don't really see too often. And I'll talk about that more in here in just a bit. But let's hop right into it, guys. Stats and dimensions. We'll give them a grip level. Then we'll get them on the board. Throw them for a bit. And while I'm throwing them, I'm going to let you know what I think of the mission. Roman Beneke darts. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, let me show you the packaging. We'll take a quick peek of the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. Although, you know what? I have to start with something a little bit negative. I have mentioned this in other videos, but you put in the hard work on the dartboard. You raise your game to a standard in which an awesome company wants to sponsor you. You get your own set of darts and guess what? They can't even put your picture on the packaging of your very own darts. So I don't know, that's just, that's just a pet peeve of mine. I just wish that they would at least put his picture on the back or something, you know, you've earned it. So anyway, there's the compact cardboard packaging. We have the Mission Point Protector with a Mission logo on there, I like that. And then the darts themselves, check out these bad boys. Nice red metallic coating there, I think that looks incredible. And the grip pattern here, it's pretty, it's unusual, right? So basically you've got twin ring grips that have been milled into these little tiny squares, alternating squares. So there's the front end of the dart. You've got the smooth section with the Mission logo. And on the back end, you've got basically three twin ring grips with some horizontal milling there. And check this out, guys. Mission is known for this. The logos from the stem always line up with the logo on the barrel, which I think is really cool out of the package. Then on the back end, We've got the Benny standard size Mission Pro Player Flight. And there's the dart, but what do you say we get a little bit closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Okay, there you go. Nice close up look at the darts there. And you know what? There's not a whole lot of red darts out there. I think the most popular is probably what the Gen 4 Stephen Bunting darts. But hey, if you're looking to add some red darts or red coated darts to your collection, there you go. The front end here, a little bit too busy for my liking, but I'm sure there's a lot of you watching this video that actually like the look of these things quite a bit. I guess we can start up front. I'm not sure the total point length here. They're kind of short though. They only stick out of the barrel 26 millimeters in total. So yeah, I would 100% recommend you repoint these darts. Now the barrels, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 51.8 millimeters long. And the barrel width on the thin side, 6.25 millimeters wide. I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth there, 13 millimeters deep in the back end. Now the match weight in here, they're advertised as 22 grams. I'd like to see the match weight just a little bit better. However, it wasn't terrible. The lightest barrel came in 22 grams even. The next one, 22.06, and finally 22.09. So now all in all, not too bad there, but let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about this square grip. Okay, so let me give you a close-up look at the barrel, and I'll try my best to describe this unusual grip. So you guys are watching the video, and I'm sitting here looking through this small camera lens, and looking at the barrel, it seems like it'd be really grippy. At least that's what it looks like, but you know what? This is one of those barrels that is not as grippy as it looks. These squares, these little miniature squares, are situated in such a way, they're grouped together so tightly that they actually kind of feel smooth to the touch. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and give it a grip level 2.4 on a scale of one to five. I mean, it does have a little bit of bite, but I don't think it's anywhere near as grippy as it looks. Now in the rear kind of middle of the barrel, we've got this smooth section, a couple little micro multi rings on either side of the mission logo. And then on the back end, I'm not even sure what you'd call that. It's like a couple twin ring grips or three almost 
with the horizontal milling in the back end feels pretty much identical to the front end. So yeah, I think a grip level 2.4 is fairly accurate. Now up front, look at this thing. Massive lip right there where the point meets the barrel. So yeah, that's that's no good. If you have a dart already in the board and you have expensive molded flights, that lip is just going to smash into the back of your flights. And uh, yeah, God forbid you're running expensive molded flights. They're going to get destroyed in no time. So 100% recommend you repoint these things, eliminate that lip, and your flights will be very thankful. Now the stems, you know what? I'm not a big fan of these stems. I had a super hard time inserting the flights into the back of them stems. I actually had to pry open some of those prongs just so I could get the flight in there without destroying it. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the flights, or not a fan of the stems. However, once they're in there, they're not coming out. I mean, those things are, yeah, wow. They're in there tight. So yeah, we'll just leave them be. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get these things on the board. I'm going to throw them just like you see them, 100% stock. And I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to go. That's going to be my grip, by the way. Point of finger and thumb right on that front section. Point right stuck into my ring finger. So that's my grip. But yeah, let's get them on the board, have a throw, and I'll give you some feedback on what I think. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Just a few random throws tonight. It is just after 8 p.m. my time. I got out of the gym at 6 o'clock tonight. Massive shoulder workout, so I'm not even going to pretend I can throw darts tonight. I'll try my best, though, but we'll see how this goes. Yeah, just five random throws. So I have had a chance to throw these previously. And, you know, being a straight barrel dart, I guess if you, if you close your eyes, it would almost feel like a twin ring grip, I suppose. But <laughs> you should have seen warm-ups. They were terrible. I swear to God, warm-ups were horrendous. I wasn't hitting anything. Matter of fact, that's the first two treble 20s I've hit in a turn. I, I never even had a 140 in warm-up. I don't know what's going on here. I'm kind of blocked, too. So let's go. I was going to do 19s. So let's go bullseye. Oh, not even close. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can just about lift my arms up. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it's such an unusual grip pattern, but I mean, they, they feel nice and uh, it's a mild grip. It comes off the fingertips clean, so there's really not a lot to complain about. Right on the wire, go for a cover. Back to normal. Yeah, these points are definitely on the short side. I've already dinged up one of the flights. I do have new flights, though, somewhere. Let me see. Got a brand new set, by the way. That's one of the things I've been doing. If I buy a set of darts, I always buy a brand new set of flights. In case I resell them, I want the customer to get, you know, a brand new set, pretty much, so... I do like the, um, the one thing that stands out to me here is I, I do like the thinness of them. You guys know I like a, um, you know, a straight barrel thinner dart. This certainly fills the bill. All right. Man, I've been right on that top wire with the last two turns. Cover. Oh. See, I told you that first turn was a bit of luck, wasn't it? I haven't hit anything since, but we'll do one last. Two at the 20, last one at the bullseye. And obviously front and middle grippers, this is going to work great. Rear grippers, I don't know. you got to kind of avoid that smooth, smooth section, which I know a lot of you guys don't like. But front and middle grippers, definitely. Oh, yeah. Went right back to normal. Hey, there's a treble 20. Bullseye? Nope, can't hit the ball today. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on anyway, so we'll just wrap this up. But I, it is, honest to God, it's a fun set to throw. The grip, again, kind of unusual, but it feels, like I said, if you were blindfolded, kind of feels like a mild twin ring grip, so. It is what it is, guys, but we got one more turn. 
Nice little 180 here. The last two darts, super tight. Give these things a recommendation and we are out of here. Let's go. I wasn't too sure about that last one, but it slid in right over the top. Good example of thin darts grouping tight. 6.25 millimeters wide, by the way. That is tight, isn't it? Wow. Well, hey, there it is, guys. Great place to end the video. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, thumbs up. Always appreciated. Again, reminder, link to Darts Corner down below. You can check out the Beneke darts. And don't forget, check out that clearance section as well. Also, if you're in the USA, you want these darts at a discounted price, send me an email, whatever, we'll work something out. But yeah, these are up for sale. Just wanted to let you know. So now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. Now, they do throw well. They only come in 22 grams, so that's kind of, kind of on the light side, but almost kind of right there in the middle as well. Um... Straight barrel, it's got a funky grip, but hey, they do throw well. A um, little north of $60 as well, so I don't know. You know what? We'll cut right to the chase. I'm going to give these a recommendation. 7.7 7 out of 10. Not terrible, but I think there are a few better, you know, better choices out there. Nonetheless, if you're looking for a nice red set of darts, these aren't too bad, really, to be honest with you. I mean, it does, they do throw well, so don't get me wrong there, but I think everything, all things considered, I think that's a pretty fair score. Let me know what you think about that, and um, I guess that's it. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.